in all of these conversations about hospice care wives and hosp don't become a hospice care kid and learning how to erect boundaries, there are the people that are already in those roles. There are people that are already in the roles of caretakers. Some people were thrust into those roles just because they happened to be the responsible one or the one that had the most aptitude or the one that was just there. Anyways, you caring for somebody else's health will sometimes drag your health down. It will weigh in on your mental, your emotional well-being, all of that. And I was just talking to another woman who is a caretaker and she gave her list of things that she's done. And um, she said, take a step back. You know, sometimes you do need to look at what your life is becoming. You have to evaluate things because you working for somebody else is using your time, energy and resources. She says sometimes she takes a weekend off, maybe goes to a hotel. Not everybody can afford a weekend off or a hotel, but you can afford two hours to yourself somewhere um you know just create creating those strict boundaries like do not answer the phone in those two three hours these are your hours you need these hours to recharge get therapy if you do not have insurance that provides therapy there are self-help books there are self-help workbooks there are things that you can do to create you know an outlet for yourself to work through things watch your weight okay i am a former personal trainer and i know that talking about weight is a sim um is a sensitive topic but if your stress levels start to go up your waistline will also start to go up if you are working with somebody else their their lives could be impacting your life and a way to recognize that is stepping on the scale do your jeans still fit can you put on the same clothes that you were wearing last year? You need to be evaluating yourself, um, even if it's just from that aspect of just trying on clothes. And learning how to create healthy boundaries is, a, is something that we all need to consider because our time, energy, and resources are valuable. Even things that cannot be quantified are valuable. And you can't just give and give and give. So you have to be willing to, whatever you give out, you have to be doing that for somebody that you know would do the same for you. And even if you are, you know, you just have to be smart about it. Learn how to create smart boundaries. Learn how to vet the people who are who you're doing this for. Because as soon as you give this out, it's a little bit of you that is not there. So 